Hello world. Um, it is Tuesday the 8th of August. It was Comic Con. Not the weekend, just gone the weekend before. And literally, um, I know I haven't done a, a vlog since. It was just kind of, um, it was just a bit crazy because obviously I finished, uh, we finished Comic Con and then come home on the Monday. And um, I, I was like so tired, it was ridiculous, like super, super tired. So literally, the past week has just been Hello. Hi, yeah, uh, you're right. Um, I haven't got a. Um, yeah. Yeah, just make tea and leave it. Do it anyway. Okay. Usually we finish about eleven. So, all right. All right. See you later. All right. Ta da! Ta da! I um, I come home and literally for the past week I mean I've done some work on Hollyoaks and things like that but honestly I've been absolutely shattered like uh, like crazy shattered like like I haven't been doing much and just um honestly like there was nothing really to vlog about that's why I haven't done uh, um I've literally just been hanging out doing little bits not on too too much like I said I did a bit of Hollyoaks work the weekend just gone um, I was in work, normal work again, back in work. I am in work tonight, well, in a few hours at five, because we've got our stock take, which is obviously, if you don't know what a stock take is, literally if you work in a shop, you just go into the shop, I, I'm going in at five, and literally we've got to, me and everyone else, all the other staff will be there, and all we have to do is literally count everything in the store. And it's a little bit boring, but usually, it's only about five hours that we do. Like, if I go in at five, usually I'm I'm out at eleven. So it's only like a five-hour shift. So it's not too much, and it's a little bit of extra money. Everyone has to do it, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a vlog today because I haven't. Obviously, <coughs> I haven't done a wrap-up of Comic Con and things like that. Literally, the last vlog was Comic Con, and the last bit was literally in the hotel um, when I did the little finishing bit off <coughs> on the Sunday when it was finished um, I have had like I said I've been shattered this week I have had a, a lot of con blues if you have never been to con uh, a comic con then you don't know what con blues are but it's kind of after comic con finishes literally you just you're so depressed about it being finished and yeah so you've got to kind of get over that you're a little bit sad but um, it was an amazing weekend I mean I absolutely love the weekends I love staying in the hotel I love going to the place I love meeting loads of people this time round we met so much more <coughs> sorry so many more people um, it's just amazing like honestly I can't describe if you've never been to a comic con I can't describe it like I like I said in the in the last vlog I know that some it's not some people's cup of tea but um, if you do like comics if you like even if you don't cosplay if you just want to go there because you like comics, you like superheroes, you like all the games, anything, and it's not just a comic book convention, it's for everything, everything geeky, comics, films, uh, anime, games, everything, everything you can think of, if you like that, any of that stuff, and you've never been to a comic con, you need to go to a comic con, wherever you are in England, or even in America, or anywhere, wherever you're watching, there'll be a comic con. In every city in England there's a Comic Con, in most places in America there's Comic Cons, I know that there'll be Comic Cons in other places. If you like that kind of stuff, look look up a Comic Con near you and go to it, like you won't regret it at all. I absolutely love it, I want to go to more but obviously yeah, I'd love to go to London, I'd love to go to an American Con. Um, it's obviously all just the money and things like that but obviously maybe I'll sort it one day and we'll go Comic Con America or I do want to start going to more places in England, more Comic Cons in England, but it's about having the money, the time off, things like that. So, um, so this is like pretty much like a roundup of Comic Con. Uh, just a little shout out for the people if you watch me um, vlog for um, the shoes and stuff like that. Well, Adidas mainly, things like that. 
the Monday I got back from Comic Con, I come back with some money. So me and my brother went into town, went and looked around. I was looking for, like I said, I've been trying to get my mate, my best friend Adam, trying to get him boosted. So um, I was in town looking for some deals for him. Went into the Adidas shop and I've been looking at them for a while. But I thought I'll pick them up. They are the Adidas um, cloud foam sliders. So here they are, like this. I did have a pair of sliders, Adidas sliders, but not on like this. Like honestly, like this cloud foam, they call it. Um, it's like the comfiest thing, honestly. Like Boost is amazing for shoes and things like that, but when it comes to sliders, cloud foam is the shiznit. Um, if you've never tried them, you need to try them because these are the comfiest things. I'm gonna probably take these to Florida. Um, that's probably one of me. That's the excuse I'm giving myself. Um, that why I bought them. Um, they're thirty pound. Thirty pound, I think. Um, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing sliders. Like honestly, when you come home and you put these bad boys on, they are super, super comfy. Um, made in Vietnam. If you uh, if you wanted to know. But yeah, amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna take them to Florida um, for like the water parks and things like that. They'll, that'll be pretty cool to, to wear for the water parks because they're super comfy. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of me little me little buy this week. Um, so and I've been kind of looking at shoes and the the laceless um, the laceless uncaged Ultra Boost have come out. And I like them. I like the white ones. I don't really like the other ones. It's like a grey. The other pair are like a grey with like a brown like thing on it. It looks like a strap, but it's not. It's just the, the colour of it. It's like a brown. I'm not really that fussed on them. The white I really like, so I probably will try and pick them up at some point. Uh, there's not really much else. I do want to get try and get a pair of Yeezys. I know um, a new a new um, a new pack of Yeezys are coming out. Uh, at the end of the year, so I'm going to try and pick them up. Uh, well, not them. Try and pick at least one pair up. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, there's loads of other pairs of trainees, but it's a little bit quiet on the on the boost front. I mean, I do want to pick up loads of different ones, like different colours and things like that. But there's none really that that jump out at me. Like the Henry Pools, got them. The R2s, like I said in the other video, I'm not picking up the R2s. The, the R2s are out now, so I'm pretty sure that the, the Henry Pools have been reading and they sold out. They like pretty, they sold out pretty quick. So I'm guessing the R2s are gonna have done the same, but I just didn't like them, so I didn't pick them up. Um, it's absolutely torrential outside, so if you can hear the rain, then I apologise, but I can't do anything about the weather. So, um, so yeah, back to Comic Con. I uh, had the best time I always do. I have uh, such an amazing time. And I spent a lot of money. So, um, let's start off with... I did buy um, a lot of a lot of mystery stuff th this time round. We did buy some last time, me and Adam. But this time I did buy a lot more. Because I do like the, quiet, the thought of... You do know that the stuff's going to be geeky on the inside on on the inside of it. You do know the things that are going to be in it are going to be geeky, but you just don't know what they are. Um, but I did get certain things like I bought a mystery bag of t-shirts that come with different t-shirts, which I'll probably wear a different t-shirts on at each time. This one is a Hail Hail Sagan. Hail Sagan. Um, if you don't know who Carl Sagan is, Google him. Legend. Um, but yeah, this is a t-shirt that I bought. This didn't come in the mystery bag. I bought this just because I seen it and it was because I was cosplaying there was you get like a discount. So it was three t-shirts for 25 I think. Um, so I picked three t-shirts. This was one of the t-shirts that I put, picked. Hail Sagan. Rock on. Um, and then I'll probably wear the next vlogs and stuff I'll probably be wearing the t-shirt so you'll probably I'll show them as the as the vlogs go on I'll show you each t-shirt and stuff but there was loads of geeky t-shirts that I bought and then there was the the mystery bag of t-shirts that I bought and every single one of them was amazing like super cool um, and, and a mystery box that I got I got this guy in Deadpool bobblehead 
which is pretty cool. I like the way he's got one sword out and then the other ones in the other ones in the um, in a scabbard in the back and then that one's empty because he's obviously got that one in, in his hand. So that's pretty cool. Got that to add to the collection. Um this is like I got this and he's like insanely cool. This is the um this is okay, let me get this right. This is the Max Payne. Max Payne. In the in the Comic Con video, I think I called him um Mad Max. I think I called the statue the Mad Max. I think I called it the Mad Max statue at first and then the second time I said it I said the Max Payne. So <laughs> I don't know what I don't know if anyone picked up on that, but yeah, on the Comic Con video you'll see me and I'll say, Oh the Mad Max um, statue and then I'll say the Max Payne statue. So yeah, this is Max Payne from the game Max Payne 3. I think it is, yeah, Max Payne 3. Um super cool, like the statue's amazing. Like he comes on like it's like floorboards. It's like obviously like a wooden floor and then obviously the, his guns are empty. So and like you can see all the all the um, casing, the gun shell casings on the on the wood. Like they just fell to the floor. He's got um, one gun in one hand, the other gun in the other hand. One of them is is um, you can see it's out of bullets, um, and then the other one just looks normal, like it might have more bullets in. You can kind of see the little gun holster underneath his jacket. Um, it's like really good. He's got a bullet hole in his arm. You can see it there. It's just like an insanely cool statue. It's like he's walking a little bit on it as well, so like he's taking a step. It's just super, super cool. Like the the the, the, the statue, absolutely amazing. I got this for five pound, like five pound. Like I, I just I don't I don't know how you could make money on on selling these unless they got them from for free from somewhere. But they were selling them for five pound each. Um, and I had to buy one. I just I had to it was just an it's just an amazing statue I have seen them before a long time ago when the game first come out. I'm sure this come with the game um, It was like a special edition or something. I'm pretty sure it did. But yeah, absolutely amazing statue like I'm so happy I picked it up Right, I know I haven't done a custom collectible in a while like a collectible that I've done up or anything like that in a while since like R2D2 and stuff like that I went in Comic Con, it was Sunday, there was um, a Forbidden Planet um, bit um, and I went and spoke to the guy and I was speaking to him and I bought, we bought a mystery bag um, from him which was quite cool, it had like loads of bits in, like I can't remember all different, I mean all kinds of stuff um, we bought that um, I bought that, yeah, I bought the mystery box, uh, no it was a mystery bag, sorry, it was a mystery bag, it was like a, one of their Forbidden Planet bags, and it was all tied up, and inside it had loads of stuff, it had a t-shirt, um, it had a bobblehead, it had a, sorry, a Funko Pop, which is over there, um, I got the um, Guardians of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon holding a baby Groot, which is super, super cool, so that was in the surprise, in the mystery bag, which was crazy. Um, I think he come in it as well. I think he's the one that come in in the mystery bag as well. But anyway, there was loads of cool stuff, loads and loads of cool stuff. Come with a t-shirt and stuff as well. Key rings, things like that. Like on my keys, I've got like different key rings, like a Captain America key ring, and then come with like a, a cool like it's like a snake with a skull and stuff like that. But yeah, cool, cool stuff. And then I seen this guy, and he was. He was in the glass case, and I seen him and I was like, he is awesome, like super awesome. But he was missing a shoulder, like his shoulder had snapped off, and it looked like there was some battle damage on him. So I said to him, I called the guy over and I said, is this, I said, is, is, is he supposed to be battle damaged? Is he supposed to be missing the shoulder? And the guy said, he's supposed to be battle damaged, he is supposed to be battle damaged, but the shoulder snapped off. And he said, he's worth over a hundred pound, but he said, I can do it, I can do it for 70 for you. So I was like, right, okay, and I was like, 70 is still good, but I was like, I don't really want to be spending 70 pounds on them. So it was Sunday, so I was like, you know what, I'll make a little game plan. What do you do in Comic Con, all these booths? You'll, you'll wait, like, right at the end of Sunday, at the end, they'll start lowering the price on things so that they can get rid of it, so that they don't have to carry it home and they're making a little bit of money. So 
that's what that's what you kind of get on to when you start going to comic cons if you want something leave it until the end of sunday it might go it might get sold but that's the chance you take if it gets to the end of sunday um which it did i went up to him and i said i really like him and i want him but i've only got 50 pound which was a lie um, i had a lot more money but i said i've got 50 pound is there any chance you can do it for 50 pound and he was like, mm, and he was like, you know what? He was like, yeah, I'll do it for fifty pound. Saves me having to take him home, and I get a bit of money. Yeah, you can have fifty pound. I was absolutely made up, made up with fifty pound. So this guy is going to be my new custom collectible. I don't know when I'm going to do him, but he is going to get done. He is the Iron Man from um, Age of Ultron. He looks so so cool. I mean, he's like a really good size. I mean, look at that towards, obviously towards me. Um, he's a pretty good size and he comes, his chest lights up, his eyes lights up, pretty cool, and his arm lights up, if I can reach out. Yeah, so it's better when it's a little bit darker. If you go onto my Instagram, I do this all the time now. <laughs> If you, if you follow me on Instagram, right there, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see him. There's a, a picture of him that I put up, and he's it's, it's in the dark, and his lights are on, so it looks pretty cool. But yeah, he's going to be in my next custom collectible. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make him look really battle damaged and things like that. I'm just going to obviously, from the, the um, arc reactor in his chest, I want it to look like, there's like it like the metals like it's coming up scraping away from the arc reactor all the way around like silver like it's coming through like the silver's coming through make him look battle damaged put some marks and some dents and some bits and bobs on him um, and I did want to make a stand for him <coughs> so pardon me um, I did want to make a stand for him like in um, Tony Stark's um, house or building when he's kind of got them on the metal rings and then you've got the lights around them I do want to make kind of a base like that um, <clears throat> which will be cool to make so I'm gonna fit <clears throat> oh, I don't know what's going on so it's stuck on my throat um, yeah I'm gonna do him custom collectible make him look battle damaged to hell and obviously his lights will still wear and then I'll put him on a base this guy has got loads of interchangeable hands if you see there he's got a fist um, and then obviously I've got that. I just like that kind of stance where he's kind of like looks like he's just about to just go Pow! But he's like got one of his fists clenched like he's like he's angry and he's ready for it um, He did come with a good few changeable hands like maybe three um, pairs of changeable hands Fists and then hands open all the way and then hands open a little bit. So yeah, I mean pretty good cool. and he did come with his um, he did come with the shoulder like I didn't think because it was broke off I didn't think it was gonna come with the shoulder but when he gave me the big box which obviously he's given me the big box with it all in it come with the shoulder so I just glued the shoulder back on so literally I got a statue for that's worth over a hundred pound for 50 pounds that looks perfect anyway because I've glued the shoulder back on so it's crazy crazy he, he works completely works um, I just can't wait to battle damage and just make him look absolutely sick and badass. So yeah, he's my next custom collectible. It's going to be sick. Um, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to do that. It's, it'll probably be when I get a few days together that I'm off or something like that. I'll, I'll put a few days together that I'm off and I'll do that. So um, yeah, that's that. On to the, so yeah. It wouldn't be Comic Con without buying comics, and I bought some comics. Um, I bought, I must have bought between seventy and eighty comics. Like honestly, like so many comics. Um, I'm not gonna obviously show you them all, but I'll show you some. Um, there's a Wolverine comic, um, Death of Wolverine, and it's kind of the the kind of the actual Wolverine. He's kind of like a silver, so like in the light, he kind of shines in the light absolutely sick i mean i all the comics that i've bought that i bought at comic con i haven't read yet so um i bought as well i bought some old man logan 
I just thought it was it was a cool thing to do because I, one of my cosplays was Old Man Logan. Um, so I got a few in the series, a few Old Man Logans in the series. Um, they're pretty cool. I can't wait. I can't wait to read these comics. Obviously, like I do buy the comics, but I love the comics. That's the whole reason why I buy the comics because I absolutely love them. I love the artworks, the different stories that are in the comics because obviously, with the films, there's one storyline. With the comics. Every storyline you can think of has been has been said. Um, there's an Iron Man. It's an Iron Man comic, but um, Wolverine's on the front. I don't know. I don't know why, why that is. Um, a really old school Captain America corpse. Um, just loads of different ones. I mean, um, a Batman. A really cool Batman one with obviously the Joker. Um, that's a really X Men one, and it's super cool. It's got. It's got um, Wolverine. It's got um, it's got um, Wolverine, um, Nightcrawler, all different people in it. It's got Cable. It's actually got Cable right in the middle. Which uh, Josh Brolin, who's playing um, Cable in the Deadpool films, in the the second Deadpool film, has put a picture up of himself as Cable on Instagram. If you haven't seen it, go and look at it. Super sick. Um, yeah, a really old school X Men comic. Like a really, I mean, this is from. Has it got a date? No, it's not got a date on it. But it looks super old, so that's cool. Um, honestly, like so many, so many comics. Another Old Man Logan. And that's like a pack that I bought. I bought, it was five Marvel comics for five pounds, so a pound of comics. No brainer. Um, yeah, and then there's some really, really old comics in there. Like honestly, like I got this in a, in a, um, in one of the packs, and it's like an old school Spider-Man one, like a long one. And honestly, it's like, it's like, like that. I mean, it's battered. Like it's actually battered. Like you can tell it's old. Like it's so battered. The actual, if you can see, like all along there, it looks like it's coming apart. And it, I mean. This is from November 24th, 1976. That's how old it is. So, um, but I think that's insanely cool, which I might look at getting a frame for that and just framing it. Um, and then I, obviously I can put it up on the wall. Um, so yeah, that's like super cool. I have made like a box because I've got so many comics now. I've made a kind of box for the comics, which I'm going to like, I've made the box so they're all sat in there and then I'm gonna wrap it in like um I'm gonna wrap it in like cool um comic book wrap and paper or something so it looks like the, the box looks cool. Because they're asking for like twenty pounds for a for a comic book box on, on eBay. And it's like no thanks, I'm not paying that. Um but yeah, um that's pretty much it. Um I did get loads of other stuff and, and bits and bobs for um from Comic Con, which you'll obviously, I'll probably tell you about them in other vlogs and stuff like that when I see them. Again, I'm, I got like little, these little cardboard things, like where you make um, people, like you make like Captain America out of card and stuff like that. And that's, they, I've made them and they're up there, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, there's a, I mean, Comic Con is amazing, always amazing, always cool. Um, I'm about to go and do this stock take tonight um, I'll probably do a little round up tonight because um, my camera's on low battery so I'll probably do a last little bit of clip after work tonight when I get home just to round up the day um, but yeah uh, another little thing I finished my film the film that I had filmed the, bit, the end of last year um, a voice it's when I play the homeless guy finally finished like literally I was at my musicians on Friday I went to his went into his little studio in his and literally we just went through all the music smashed it out recorded some new music just really like went through it all it's done literally last night went through it all edited it all put all the music in the exact place recorded some uh, some narration from myself and um, a little bit of that put that in put it on last night to render to like make the actual video put it all together and, and do it and um, woke up this morning and it's done 
So I'm going to show it to a few little people first, see what they think, see if it's good, if it needs any work doing to it, and then I'm going to try and set up a, a premiere of some type. I know it's only a short film, it's only 10 minutes long, but uh, I want to do a little premiere and stuff like that, and then it will be going onto my YouTube channel. Um, so hopefully whoever is subscribed to me sees it, watches it, likes it, gives me some good feedback. I know it needs a lot of work, um, like, and I learned so much from making it. And this next film that I'm just about to film, that's why I've got my hair cut and I've got my face like this. Um, I'm just about to start filming where I play a soldier. I've learned so much from the first film that I'm going to put it into this next one. I'm going to make it a lot longer, a lot more interesting and it's just going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. If you follow me on Instagram, like before, um, I put my Instagram up, I'll put it up again if you want. So, literally everyone that subscribed is going to know my, my Instagram name off by art soon. So. But yeah, if you follow me, I'll probably put more information on there about the film, um, and when it's coming out, and when it's going to be dropped on YouTube, and stuff like that, so yeah. I'm a happy boy, I mean it's Tuesday, I've got work, like I said, at 5, but it's 5 hours, and then the rest of the week, there has been a little bit, like I was supposed to be doing an advert tomorrow and Thursday, for Jackpot Joy, um, but they haven't got back to me, so I'm pretty sure it's not going ahead, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it's not going ahead, um, and if they phone me or anything like that, I'm just gonna say, well, literally, you haven't got back to me about it, so, yeah. Um, so this week is probably going to be a pretty chilled out. Um, I'm happy. I've just been to Comic Con not long ago, the other week. So I've kind of filled me geeky, me geeky meter up. Um, I bought loads of cool stuff. I've got me custom collectible to do um, when I've got some time. There's not much more. I mean, I've got Florida now in April. So um, Comic Con obviously is paid for and stuff like that. I've got not on my credit card. So, I'm going to start saving some money up, I am going to start getting some more tattoos soon because I haven't had tattoos in a while, so I'm going to probably push buying trainees and things like that off to the side for a little bit, then I'm going to get some tattoos, I'm going to get some new tattoos and stuff, and then just before Christmas, I'm hopefully going to buy the 3D printer that I've been banging on about for so long, 3D printer, and then mess around with that for a long time, so... The, the, so the, the vlog, if I do buy it, the vlog's probably just going to be full of me 3D printing stuff um, and doing that, which will be pretty cool, like custom collectibles and things like that, that'll be pretty cool to do. So yeah, um, maybe, I know, I'm trying to keep the, the vlogs as interesting as possible, maybe I should be doing more each day, but it's just I don't want to do vlogs that are just completely boring and things like that. I don't know, it's, it's just, it's one of them things, I'm, I'm still working it out obviously, and I don't want it to seem too structured, and like I said, the vlogs are just vlogs, I'm just doing them when I can, and if I think there's going to be interesting stuff on them, like I've showed you today, all my stuff from uh, Comic Con and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to get some food now, because I'm starving, um, I'm going to eat so that obviously I'm not hungry during work tonight, stock taking stuff. Gonna have some food, chill for a little bit because I don't have to leave for a few hours. Gonna chill for a little bit, go to work, and then I'll speak to you after work. So, hope everyone's having a good day, positivity and love to you all. Let's get the day started. So, um, it's it's Wednesday. Um, I knew I, I know I said I was going to do a little bit of a clip. Um, last night after a uh, stock take from work but I got home and I was shattered so I went to bed sue me um, yeah I just thought I'd finish the finish the vlog off today by um, just obviously recapping um, what this video was about obviously it was mainly about Comic Con the wrap up of Comic Con and stuff like that which I've said to you many times absolutely amazing love the place always go um, me and Adam are obviously planning on going again next year to the Manchester Comic Con um, probably to the same hotel and everything just because it's so close and we love that hotel five-star hotel it's an amazing 
uh, amazing building and, and customer service and the rooms and just everything is just perfect so that's kind of like mine and Adam's little getaway for the year that's like our holiday for the year um, me and him we, we go there and obviously enjoy Comic Con and enjoy um, the hotel it would be nice to go to like a London Comic Con because I know London Comic Cons are three days like obviously Manchester Comic Con's only Saturday Sunday um, uh, London Comic Cons are Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so that would be quite cool to go because obviously you'd be going for more days. We would be going <coughs> if we were going to if we were going to go to the London one. We'd be going on the Friday, um, no, sorry, the Thursday. We'd be going to the hotel and then we wouldn't be coming home until the Monday. So that's pretty cool. That'd be that's an even longer one. That's that's the only thing I say about Manchester Comic Con. It's an amazing, amazing time. Like I love it, but it, I think it could be an extra day could be added or two like I could easily go for four days to Comic Con 100% cosplay all the days and just smash it I mean I love it absolutely love it um, another thing I didn't show in the video is obviously you've seen on the, um, the video um, on the the actual Comic Con video you've seen on the the, um, the front picture the thumbnail um, of the video was this on my face Literally, this was this is obviously the face hugger from Alien. Um, it come in like a proper cool box and with a, a, a little thing of authenticity and all that kind of stuff. And it must have metal inside of it, so you can bend obviously bend the, the fingers and stuff like that. So obviously you can hang on stuff like I've got it hung up on on my chair like that. I've got a hung on my chair, so that's cool. But you can put it on anywhere. You can, because of the arms, it can thingy and the tail as well bends. That's why, obviously, on the thumbnail, it's wrapped around my neck and all this kind of stuff, which is really cool. Um, as well, it was like thirty-five pound, and I was like, mm, I was like, I don't really want to spend thirty-five pound on on that. And then near the end, like I said on Sunday, every every place, every little stall tries to start starts trying to sell things cheaper. And then me and Adam were walking along. And it was Sunday near the end and some guy run up to his mates like next to us and was like, oh, I've just bought this and they've just put them down from £35 to £20. So I was like, £20? I was like, yeah, I'm getting one. So I went and got it for £20. So that's just, that just shows that like obviously if you're smart about it and stuff, you can get things, good deals. You can get good deals at Comic-Con and, and things like that. And it, it's just an amazing place obviously to, to, to get geeky things at discount prices and things. Um, I mean, there's things there that I, I don't even see online, that I don't even see on eBay and things like that. Cool little trinkets that, that people would love to have. Um, and there's loads of things, that's why I love going and taking a lot of money because I might see things that I've never seen before and I'm like, oh, and I need to get it because they're super cool. That's a lot of that. And then comics as well, because there's private sellers, there's a lot of private sellers selling comics. And you can find comics for discounted prices because the people want to get rid of them that are amazing comics like you might find a gem like a, a, a real gem and um, that's what I love about it um, and that's why I buy so many comics um yeah so I've still got so many comics to read like honestly like crazy amount to read but anyway yeah uh, that's comic-con um, shoes wise I don't know um, about any shoes I know some shoes are coming out I know the NMD um, Japan pack is coming out. The white, they're white, or oh, uh, triple white and triple black is coming out. They're probably going to sell out like crazy fast. They're out soon in like a week or two. Um, the white laceless Ultra Boost, I really like them. I, hopefully, if they're still on sale in like a few weeks and stuff, I'm going to try and pick a pair of them up because I really like them. The only thing with that is they're like triple white they're like all white and i'm not that fussed on white trainers like really i'm not that fussed i might buy them and then just not wear them and then take them to florida with me um they'd be quite cool summer um holiday shoes but it's gonna obviously start coming more closer and closer to winter now and and uh, i just don't think they'd be good for winter at all because they'll just get trashed like completely trashed um but they want their their trainees that I want. Um, I do want to look at getting some Anikis. Still, I still like the baby blues and the reds uh, Anikis. So I like them. They're on my list. But like I said, I'm not made the money, so I'm slowly 
getting getting there as well as obviously Comic Con's done paid for and it's all it's gone now so that's not that's not an issue. It's literally just paying for Florida now so I'm gonna be giving money to to my mum and stuff like that to pay the holiday off. Um and like I said I wanna get some tattoos. So the shoes are gonna take a little bit of a back seat but I'm still gonna get some. I, I, you know what I'm like. I mean, the last, the last vlogs you you've seen where I've said oh, I'm not gonna buy any trainees, and then I come home and I've, I've bought like four pairs of trainees. So, so yeah, I say I say I'm not gonna buy trainees, but I probably will. Um, but yeah, I am gonna try and focus on getting a tattoo because there's a tattoo that I want for me back that's literally gonna cover me full back, which is obviously gonna take a lot, uh, gonna cost a lot. Um, and a lot of time and stuff like that so it's a big back piece that I want um, so I'm probably going to look at saving up for that as well so busy um, I've also started like a, it's called a six pack diet and it's literally about losing a little bit of fat on my stomach um, which I have I've got like a little bit of fat on my stomach it's about obviously the diet about losing the stripping the fat on there as well as obviously you working out and doing um, stomach crunches and sit-ups and things like that it just helps strip that fat and brings the six-pack out so i've started that so i'm kind of just at the beginning of that which is hard because i'm very hungry um but i i am i am gonna go and eat now because i haven't eaten so i am gonna go and have some food um which is probably going to be like boiled eggs and stuff like that um but yeah that and uh, like i said um the t-shirts all the t-shirts from comic con this is um a jurassic world t-shirt which is super cool this came in a mystery bag so i didn't know i was getting this this is just a mystery bag t-shirt which is super cool jurassic world i did have a jurassic world top um but it went missing i don't know where it went completely just disappeared so i don't know so i've got this one now i've got a new one jurassic world awesome i do want to get a jurassic park one like an old school one like the ones from the films that the, the in jurassic world the the guy who works in like the the kind of the little um the little office bit like the the um what you call it like the um like the what you call it the, uh, i don't know like the um the little base where everyone's in you've got all the screens and all that kind of stuff like in there he and he, uh, one of the guys like someone says to him about the t-shirt and he's got like a dress park t-shirt and he's like yeah i got it online for like it's quite expensive and then they're like oh that, that's sick and he's just like it's cool <laughs> But yeah, I want to get a t-shirt like that, a Jurassic Park t-shirt, that would be pretty cool. Which I might just get from Florida. Um, in Florida, obviously, they have the big Jurassic Park bit in the, in, um, that's in Island of Adventure, uh, the big Jurassic Park bit. So I'm sure they sell t-shirts there, so I'm probably going to be taking, I've worked it out and I'm probably going to be taking a thousand pound, which is more than what I took last time. And last time I bought a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm probably going to take a thousand pound this time, which is is I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than enough um, for spends and food and things like that. So yeah, it, it, that'll be well enough. Um, it, so yeah, um, yeah, the t-shirt. Um, I'll be, I'll I'll try and wear a different one each time. The ones that I've got from Comic Con, I'll try and wear a different one. So you can see them and I'll show you them off show them off to you and, and stuff like that so yeah um, it's a lovely day I'm gonna go and get some food I know it's Wednesday happy hump day I hope everyone is having a good day nearly the weekend that's not good for me but I know it's good for a lot of you so yeah um, as always thanks for watching <laughs>